the same now coming in a big update in this case polygraph test as we just mentioning it of seven people has already begun at the cbi office in kolkata main accused sanjay roy sandeep ghosh uh, who was the ex principal uh, four doctors and an aide of sanjay roy bhattacharya a team of forensic experts have already reached kolkata to carry out this particular polygraph test as well cnn news 18's arunima is joining us on the broadcast arunima good afternoon to you please tell us more details with regards to the test currently underway well so sanjay roy was sent to judicial custody yesterday so he is in jail uh, and uh, the forensic officials will have to complete legal formalities his custody will have to be taken by cbi for a brief while uh, for the forensic uh, team to conduct the polygraph test i think those legal formalities are being completed but the other six sandeep ghosh four doctors uh from uh, rg cor who reportedly were the last seen people with the victim doctor it is said that these junior doctors uh, had dinner with the victim doctor on the 9th of 8th of august uh, so their poly polygraph uh, the principal's uh, former principal's polygraph and one aide uh, saurabh bhattacharya is the name that has been given to us he is an aide of sanjay roy it is being said that sanjay roy spent a lot of time with him on 8th of august they reportedly visited uh, you know sonagachi area also so his polygraph is also being conducted by this team of forensic experts who have traveled from delhi to the cgo office in kolkata right arun am i if we were to give uh, an update to our viewers with regards to all of the crucial highlights uh, as per the investigation that has went on so far and how important these polygraph tests are going to be for the breakthrough in this case See, polygraph has limited uh, admissibility in terms of its evidentiary value, but it does give the investigating team some crucial insight as to where is the suspect lying, on what question is the suspect lying. If the IO is convinced that on this particular aspect the correct answer is not coming, then they can focus on investigation, trying to get corroborative evidence, trying to put the suspect through sustained interrogation on that point itself. what we are told is that the cbi team is not convinced about the sequence of event that the former principal and the doctors are giving about why the suicide theory was floated why the parents were called twice in a span of 22 minutes the first call said that the victim is unwell the second call said that she had died by suicide when it was very clear right from the word go that she was no more these are medical professionals these are doctors uh, so they are the best suited to judge whether somebody is unconscious or is no more so that's why for uh, sandeep ghosh and the other four doctors are being repeatedly asked to ascertain what was really the sequence of event what was the state of mind of the victim like i like we have reported earlier the cctv has captured main accused sanjay roy in the chest medicine ward on the morning of 8th of august hmm. when the victim and the four doctors are also present so did they see anything about sanjay roy and the victim any communication altercation anything that they are not telling the io about that's why the polygraph is being conducted a polygraph will basically look at your blood pressure will look at your uh, other body parameters to judge whether at any question if you're saying yes or no your body parameters changes it fluctuates then it tells you whether you're telling the truth or lie right arunima thank you so much for putting all of that into perspective for our